Art Attack is sponsored by Pridstick. This is an Art Attack? This is an Art Attack? This is Art Attack! <laughs> date it is, or are you like me, always forget it. What you need is one of these. Now, it's not a watch, it's a watch calendar. It doesn't tell the time, it tells the date. Look at this. You've got the 12th of the 1st, that's the 12th of January, or if I change it, you go to the 18th of the 2nd, that's the 18th of February, or what about the 22nd of the 3rd, the 22nd of March. Cut the side from a cardboard box and take a small plate, not a big dinner plate, but a side plate size plate, and just draw around it onto the cardboard, like that, and then mark the centre there. Now, you can measure it accurately, or you can use compasses to measure it. Very important that you get it accurately. Cut that circle out so that you have a cardboard circle, and then just pop a pen or a pencil through the middle there, just to create a hole in the middle, and that will be your watch face. Now, for your watch strap, cut the front and the back off a cereal box and just place them either side of your watch face like that and draw a strap that's slightly narrower than your watch face. Go all the way across one piece like that and then all the way across the other piece. But on this one, just give it a nice pointed end like you get on a real watch strap. There it is, and you can just neaten it up when you cut those watch straps out. And you'll have something that looks like that. And then just overlap them onto the edge of that cut-out cardboard circle and tape them into place like that. Now, you can use lots of strong tape or glue. Put plenty on. I'm just doing it quickly to show you. And then turn it over, and to give your watch a nice chunky 3D effect, I'm going to use newspaper. And it's just a case of scrunching up a sausage of newspaper, like that, giving it a twist so it stays into place, and then just wrap it around the outside edge of your watch face. Now, it can be a bit tricky to do it, and when you've got it round the edge there like that, if it doesn't go all the way round the edge, you could always tape together two sausages of newspaper. Tape that into place so that you then have something that looks like that. And see that? I've put lots of tape on there. And then crunch up another half sheet of newspaper into a ball and tape that onto the top. I've got some tape onto that. Put that onto the top for the watch winder. And then take a smaller sheet of newspaper, from a small newspaper, close it, and then roll that up into a sausage, like that. Give it a twist at the end so that it stays in place, and then just fold it round into a sort of C shape, like that. See that? See that? <laughs> and then tape that onto the end of your non-pointed watch strap. Just tape that on there. It can be a bit fiddly to do, but again, take your time. And that will be the buckle of your watch. And just to finish it off, roll another sausage of newspaper just to go across the middle there. I'm just going to, again, tape that into place. And as with all of these things, you take your time doing it. There it goes. And that is your basic watch shape. Now, to make it really strong, mix some PVA glue in equal parts with water, you know, the old school glue, the white school glue and the squidgy bottles. Starts to call this art attack glue now. I use this so many times. And just paste it on to your watch like that. Because we're going to be pasting on some kitchen roll, or you can use loo roll, or even ordinary tissue paper. Just a case of pasting it on and covering it in PVA glue and water mixture. And see what I'm going to do here? I'm just going to paste it into all of these nooks and crannies and do both sides of your watch, front and back. And it's a good idea to let one side dry before you do the other side. And when you've covered the whole thing in that PVA glue 
and water mixture with the tissue, it looks something like that. And look at that. It's gone really rock solid and hard and bound the whole thing together. And you may need just to pierce the hole again if you've covered it. And when it's at that stage, it's ready to paint. And you can paint it using acrylic paint or poster paint, any colour you like. And look at this. This is what I've done. I've painted it a sort of blue plastic watch strap effect. And the metal bit I've done in a goldy yellow to make them look really... And look at this here. I've even put some stitching in the strap just with a black felt tip pen. And I've put some holes in the strap again, just circles of black felt tip pen. And it's a good idea to paint your watch face white. Because you then take a pencil and you draw the numbers on. Now, it's best to start with the 12 up by that winder and then put the other numbers in like this and make these numbers nice and big because these will be the months of the year on your big watch calendar. Just squeezing them in like that round. And for the days, take a cup and place that in the middle and then just draw a circle around the cup there and around the outside edge of that circle, write the numbers 1 to 31. Obviously, because there are 31 days at the most in a month. So start by putting 1 at the top and a 15 at the bottom, and then just fit your numbers in around the edge. The reason I'm using a pencil is in case I make a mistake, and I can always rub it out and start again. And it can be a bit fiddly. Do these numbers nice and small. And when you've done your numbers, something like that. Look at that. That looks really smart. And then cut out two hands for your watch. Cardboard hands, nice stiff cardboard. And the big hand should reach from the middle to the big numbers, and the small hand should reach from the middle to the small numbers. And then you can pierce a hole near the end of each hand, and you can colour them to suit the style. Through the back there, comes out the back, just split the pin round the back. And that's why it's called a split pin and there it is and then you can eight on any day of the year with the big hand for the months that's the second month which is february and the small hand well, again you can alter it every day the 16th 17th 18th there you are the 24th of february and if you bend your watch strap back like that then you can stand it up on a tabletop in your own bedroom and there's your big watch calendar. Try it yourself. Hello! Yes, it's me again! The head! Oh, they are fantastic! Now, once you've made the basic watch, just remember, when it comes to doing the face, it's 1 to 12 around the outside for the months, and 1 to 31 inside that. Add on the hands with a split pin and move them round to every day to change the date on your watch calendar. And you can do any design you like. Fantastic! Yeah, there we go. A big art attack.
Here's a great way of decorating things. Sticky borders. Now, here's an ordinary photograph that I've backed onto a piece of black card, and it looks really boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil. Now, I'm going to use a white pencil here so you can see it on this black paper and draw an L shape in the bottom corner of the card, like that, with a squiggly curve or two or maybe even three, just in the middle of the L, like that. And then, again, come to this side and another two or three squiggly curves. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be very neat. If we go up to the top here, draw this time an upside down L shape that's also back to front and again some squiggly curves and just finish it off in this top corner by doing an upside down L shape with yet another three squiggly curves. You can do as many as you want really. Then take some PVA glue in the white squidgy bottles but you have to make sure that your squidgy bottle has got a nozzle on it. You need one of these bottles with a nozzle. And then guess what I'm going to do? Yeah, you've got it. I'm going to squeeze the glue out along those lines that I've just drawn. Just squeeze it out onto the card along the lines. Just squeeze it very gently. And just try to get the line going. Before the glue dries, while it's still sticky, take glitter and just sprinkle the glitter over the glue. Make sure you cover all of those gluey bits, the gluey squiggles. Again, in all four corners. Just sprinkling it on. Try not to disturb the glue too much while you're doing this. And then it's just a case of pausing and waiting for the glitter to sink to the glue. Do it, and then just shake off the excess glitter, like that. And there you have, wait for it, a sticky border that makes it look just that little bit special and really finishes off your work. And look at this, you even get a 3D effect because the glitter is raised from the card. And if you experiment with different squiggles, you can get lots of different effects and decorate things. How's about doing a poster? And on this one, I've done a straight L shape with straight squiggles. And look at this. I've even decorated an exercise book with very ornate squiggles and I sprinkled on some sand instead of glitter. And look at this. You can even decorate your homemade greetings cards. Try it yourself. Sticky borders. Fiona and I'm Luce. We got some black sugar paper and split it in two. On one side we used hot colours like oranges and red and on the other cold colours like greens and blues. Hi, my name's Jessica. I'm faced using hot colours like reds and oranges on one side and cold colours like greens and blues on the other. Fantastic art attack and what brilliant faces. But hold on. What's all this about warm and cold colours, I hear you say? Well, actually, there are certain colours that can help give a warm feel to your picture, and there are other colours that can help give a cool feel to your picture, and it's easy to remember which is which. For the warm colours, just think of warm sunshine and hot fires, and you get yellows and oranges and reds and nice rich browns. They're the warm colours. And for the cool colours, think of things like icy blue, cool minty greens and snowy white and they're the cool and cold colors now just to show you how effective this technique can be i'm going to do a picture that's got warm bits in it using warm colors and cool bits in it using cool colors and i'm going to start with the warm colors nice bit of warm yellow
even the little bits of detail. It's warm yellows. Red. It's rich warm red. Rich reds. Look at these nice ruby reds. Very warm colour that. Look at that. And that's it. All the warm colour. white minty greens what about some icy blue look at that cool. freezing And there it is. The cool colours really do make part of your picture feel very cool. And warm colours make part of your picture feel very warm. Try it yourself. Warm colours. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ra! Attack is sponsored by Princeton.